Hello tarot lovers, this is Merved from the Egyptian Mystic. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to go through uh, a couple of oracle decks that I just received and uh, to share with you my first impressions. I've got a couple of nice uh, beautiful uh, oracles and I'm uh, so excited to share it with you. This is the first oracle which is the Wisdom of the Golden Path. It's by Tony Carmini and, the, and he is my favorite uh, one of my favorite uh, uh, authors because I do really love his uh, his interpretation and his artwork is so good. This is by uh, Blue Angel and I know their production is very beautiful and very good quality. And he this is Tony uh, Carmini and uh, this is the artist. And um, the guidebook is very pretty and small. I love the colors and uh, it's uh, the quality is nice. It's not colored. The, there are little, some spreads here. The guidebook is not colored, but uh, you see uh, one page for each card. And uh, so that was the guidebook. The cards themselves are so pretty and gorgeous. Look at the backs are stunning. The colors, I love this yellow and orange. It's adorable. And I couldn't help myself. I edged it immediately when I got it because I was so uh, excited to edge it and I chose this color the same color and the quality is so nice it's matte and um, uh, it's not numbered the cards are not numbered and this is the first one abundance from within the artwork is so beautiful look at this one I like it so much. I like the quality. It has this uh, feminine energy. It is, um, it is, I don't know. I feel that it is one of those decks that, you know, uplifts and gives you a uh, positive energy. And this is the power card. And I really like the artwork. It's really very nice. Look at this emotions and field of dreams. The colors are so pretty and this is, I, I don't know, it has the features, they have a little bit, uh, some of Asian features or what, I think so, and this is a beautiful card, timeless earth, a beautiful card, this is so beautiful, this image, and I like it, it is nice. Yes, as I told you, it has Asian feel because of the illustrator. The illustrator, just a moment. This is the illustrator. Yes, Yoshu Tang is a Chinese artist. So that's why. So it doesn't have Tony Carmini's artwork. Okay, because I love Tony Carmini's artwork, actually. And uh, then... This is one of the cards, Intention. She's an Indian goddess. Good fortune. I like it. It is different. It is not like uh, the rest of his uh, oracles. Because I have many of his oracles and I like him so much. Tony Carmine is one of my favorites. And this is a beautiful card, Unconditional Love. I like it so much, but um, I think it's not one that I could read with all the time because, you know, uh, as much as I love the artwork, but I prefer the, the, the cards that have different, um, not faces. I don't like to see faces a lot, but this one is very nice, the intuition. So, I think this is a beautiful oracle. I'm happy to have it. And as I told you, it uh, the artist is a Chinese artist. So, it has this, um, uh, this feel, you know. I think this could go well with one of the... I could pair this deck with one of the Chinese... Uh, with my Chinese uh, tarot. Maybe I'll try it in one other video. So that was the, the oracle, the adorable. The backs are just stunning. And I edged it in this beautiful uh, yellow color. And that was my first oracle. My second one is this one. 
uh, Mystic Sisters Oracle Deck by Emily uh, Bellive. And this is a stunning oracle. I came across it. I saw it several times before and I was hesitant to get it or not. But uh, actually, uh, truthfully, the cards in your hands are so pretty. This is the guidebook. It's a small guidebook. Uh, with explanations of the cards without images and the cards themselves are not so large let me show you the cards I also edged it in different colors because you know as I told you I love edging my decks and that's my way of saying hello and welcoming my new decks so the backs are gorgeous are really very very pretty adorable quality is great and as I told you, I edged it in different colors because the cards are so colorful and the artwork is very nice. This is the magical key. I really was uh, surprised when I got this deck. It is so beautiful. Look at this one. Her secrets. I love this card. Oh my God. And this is initiation. The artwork is stunning. Aries. And this is dragonfly goddess and dryads very beautiful awakening look at this mermaids and this one is dragon goddess the artwork is stunning and the colors are adorable really look at this one oh madame soleil this is so beautiful really and look at this one I like the artwork very much. It is beautiful. Urania. And this is. She looks. Uh, someone from the 50s or something. It's a little bit funny. And look at this one. Snake Charmer. Oh. And this is. Really it is beautiful. Look at this. And this one is stunning. Sage Goddess. And this one. Really the cards are very beautiful. I had a look at a quick look at it and I immediately divided the cards and colored it but now when I'm seeing it again it is really stunning the artwork is stunning very very beautiful this is the mystic sisters look at this one also Hecate really I like it so much sisters of harmony and the artwork is very beautiful really so let me know how you see these decks and if you have any of them this is bust this is the egyptian goddess of pleasure and joy and this is Juanin, aphrodite persephone some goddesses really i have many decks about goddesses maybe i could do it uh, all once in one video I think it would be nice because I love these goddesses very much and I have uh, really quite a collection about goddesses so maybe that would be a nice idea to share these uh, decks with you look at this one oh my god the cards are really very very beautiful and especially those with uh, different ladies so that was the mystic uh, sisters de oracle deck and it is a stunning deck look at the, at the cards and look at the backs very pretty and i edged it in different colors so that was a great oracle really the mystic sisters these are by no particular order because i just uh, some of them i received uh, maybe d two days or th uh, something and some the last week this is the soulful woman guidance cards and i liked it because of each its uh, colors it is by um, let me tell you by who let me read i think uh -huh, uh, for the feminine soul it is by who is the who is who did it how come I can't find the name? Very strange. We'll see. Uh, Gemma Summers and Shushan Movesian. I don't know what's the nationality and I'm not pronouncing the na name very well. But this is beautiful. This is a beautiful um, oracle. This is the guidebook by Blue Angel. You know, I love the quality of uh, Blue Angel production 
they have very good quality cards and these are the backs beautiful red i haven't edged it i'll see which color should i and it is very beautiful love based reality i like the artwork so much i think this uh, image i saw it in one of my decks before sacred earth i think I th i'm sure i saw this card before Mm, I think Sacred Earth Oracle. I'll keep it aside and I will see. And then here is the inner well being. This is my creative power and ageless beauty. I like the cards very much. They are very reassuring, but they don't shuffle well because of their they are matte. Uh, I hope my, my camera will um, be adjusted. I think I should maybe like this. And the cards are really very beautiful. The power of self, self uh, talk. And this is creative cocooning. Really, it is nice. Some cards are very, very pretty. Maybe it's a couple of, uh, I think, two artists maybe because it's not the same uh, arts work art style sanctuary i like this card very much i went through the cards very quickly but now i'm looking at it uh, and uh, really i'm enjoying having a look at the cards but i don't want to be so slow you might get bored but i really can't help it this is a beautiful card boundaries very nice and this is appreciation. I really have many Oracle decks. Uh, I like Oracle decks very much. And I wasn't used to reading Oracle before. But it has this. Um, I like the artwork. And uh, if you need to pull one card. Or sometimes you need guidance. Oracles are very reassuring. Really. Are very helpful. This is a beautiful Oracle. Very very nice. I like the artwork very much and so this is a beautiful card too this is also nice and this is very nice beautiful and this is the last card following my truth really this is a nice uh, reassuring oracle I like it so much this is the soulful woman let me check something I think I have shown you this deck before, the Sacred Earth Oracle. I think that some cards are, I think so. Yes, I think this one. I think some cards are repeated. Yes, the artwork is so similar. Yeah, that's why I say I've seen it before. Okay, but this is stunning. Really, this is a stunning... Uh, um, oracle adorable one of my favorites look at the artwork okay this is a beautiful i was i got this out i have it since a while i got this out so that i can show you this card if it's repeated or not but now i can't help it i have to show you yes this is the card um yeah yeah this is the card okay so <laughs> because i know i've seen it before and i love the artwork you see this is such a beautiful oracle so this is i like this more this deck this sacred earth oracle i like it more the artwork is stunning it's a very beautiful oracle this is one of my favorites that's why when i saw the image i immediately knew that i've seen it before so that is nice i love it i love it i love it okay so that was the sacred earth oracle i've so shown it to you before but i don't know if i should go on showing you the cards maybe we can complete and see the rest of the cards because they are really very beautiful look at this it's a stunning deck the artwork is just out it blows my mind i like it so much and this is the repeated card so that was the sacred earth oracle i was not planning to show it to you but i it's i'm happy that i found it just in front of my in my desk 
Now, this is the next uh, oracle, the lantern oracle, and this is a beautiful oracle that uh, I was, you know, hesitant whether to get it or not, but I'm happy that I got it. It has very beautiful artwork. I think this is also by Hay House or Blue Angel. I'm not sure, but the production is great and the guidebook is uh, nice. These are the backs of the cards. This wine red and the cards themselves are very nice. And uh, the guidebook really is very nice. It's very nicely written and I really liked it. I uh, had a look at the, a quick look at the cards and then I read, uh, I pulled a card, I read the, the, what it's written in the guidebook and I felt very um, satisfied with what I read. Look at this one, false beliefs. It's a powerful deck and uh, I really like it. It's uh, a beautiful deck. Maybe you could think of getting it. Look at this misalignment. Beautiful. I like it very much. And this one is radical honesty. Very nice. And this is en enough. Key to intimacy. Uh, it is nice, but I prefer uh, those uh, with artwork more. I mean, I like, uh, if you could ask me which one I prefer, I prefer the Sacred Earth by Tony Carmini. And I like very much the, um, the which one, uh, the, the second deck, the Mystic Sisters. I like it so much. So let me know which one did you like more. And this is the sharing. Ah, this is a nice deck too card too it has this arabian horse and arabian knight okay so it is a nice deck really look at this oh so cute perspective inner integration this is a nice card too radical self-care okay so that was the lantern oracle and uh, all these decks I got from uh, from Amazon. And the last deck is the Goddess Spirit and the uh, Oracle deck by Rachel uh, Johnson. And this Oracle I was passing on a buy and I saw the image. I didn't think twice. I just got it. I hadn't seen it on any. Uh, uh, I haven't seen the cards before, but I'm happy that I got it. This is the Blue Angel also production. Uh, the backs are stunning, are very pretty, and I haven't edged it, I think maybe in blue, and the cards are so pretty, really, Earth Maiden, I like it so much, as I told you, uh, I have many uh, decks for, you know, that has this feminine feel, the goddesses, the empowerment decks. I think I should do uh, a walk through uh, some of these decks. And this is Isis, the Egyptian goddess. And this is Sarasvati. So it is uh, a deck about, uh, an oracle about uh, gods, goddesses. This is Bastet, the Egyptian goddess of joy and pleasure. And... Kuan Yin, Freya, Sekhmet, Egyptian goddess too, and Nemetonia, Fortuna. It is very nice. Mat, but why isn't she uh, depicted like uh, the Egyptian goddess with the two with the feathers, with her rings of feathers? Persephone and Hell, Covertina. Kali, I have the deck of Kali, which is very nice. And this is Tara. I like the images, really. They are so beautiful. And uh, it's a pretty deck. I think I'm very happy that I got it. And the artwork is really very nice. Maybe I can pair this deck. I will think of um, one of the tarot cards to pair it with this deck. Because really it has nice images. You see, Hecate, and uh, it's not easy to shuffle because it is matte. 
sometimes these mud decks are not so helpful aren't easy to to handle you know so that was the goddess spirit uh, oracle and uh, those were the last uh, the couple of uh, oracles that i received so i hope you enjoyed my video if you uh, please uh, share like and subscribe to my channel and um, thank you so much for watching and bye